Hey guys, welcome to my messy shop. This is Ariel Salt, and today we're going to show you how to paint the EB2 camo pattern from Sitka. Okay guys, let's go over the supplies you're going to need. Just a couple paper plates and a couple bath lupus. Outside of that, it's just paint. You're going to need Rust-Oleum Flat Gray Primer. I use the primer just because I think it matches the color the best. The paint's a real close color, but I think the primer works the best. But here's the thing, if you're going to use the primer as your base coat, and this is the base coat, if you're going to use primer instead of the paint, you're going to need to seal it with a uh, flat a clear coat of some kind to spray it with a flat clear coat at the end also dark brown camouflage uh, you can buy this stuff at Walmart it's pretty cheap and then there's two different kinds of tans that's this is a completely personal preference which tan you use I prefer the darker tan and then the white uh, this is probably not very popular, but I chose the Krylon Max White Gloss. Uh, by the time you put just the minimal amount of white on here that you will with this, you won't see the glossiness of it, plus you're covering it up with a clear coat at the end. Let's show you how to do it. All right, we moved this outside so this stuff will dry a little bit faster. At the time, I really don't have anything that I need to paint. So what I'm gonna do is I have this Hawk Helium cut off. I'll just paint it. The rest of this video, I'll kind of do an up-close view of it. Uh, I'll be out of the picture. You'll just see my hands working. That way, you can see exactly what it's supposed to look like and see exactly what to do through each step. Okay, I went ahead and primed this gray. There's no reason to teach you how to paint something completely gray. But our next step is going to be the dark brown. You'll take your paper plate. Make sure your can's good and shook up. Spray your dark brown into a circle. The thicker, the better, honestly. Take your loofah, dab it, and this is the one you're going to put the most color of, other than gray. Dab harder in some spots than you do others. And when you finish that step, it should look about like that. And for step two, we're gonna go with the tan. Like I said earlier, I use the darker tan. We'll use our other paper plate. We'll do the exact same thing. You're gonna use a little bit less of this than you did the brown. It also helps to sometimes dab with one area of the loofah and then the next time dab with another area. That way you don't have a very consistent pattern. And when you finish that step, it'll look about like this. And if, honestly, at this point, it looks nothing like EV2, but we're almost there. One. And this is where it really starts to look like EV2. Like I said, use the gloss. I don't know why, it just looks better. The white actually shows up stronger and it doesn't have any shine to it, especially after you spray it with your clear coat at the end. Do the same thing, find your paper plate. It will not take very much of this. Do your best to try to to try to on this because there's so few spots you want to rotate your loofah every single time you dip it and we're just going to barely touch And 
that's it. Let's go compare it to the boot. All right, guys, that's the project. It's really simple, really easy. It probably took me only five minutes once the gray primer dried. So to show you guys a little bit of before and after, I only painted one side. This was before, this was after. I think it turned out really well, as you can see. It has a lot of the EV2 color patterns. Really only took about five minutes. If you don't mind, go ahead and share some of your pictures. Subscribe to the channel. I'd love to see what you guys do with this technique. Thanks for watching. See you next time.